Welcome to another episode on our channel. We're going to open up a, another item today, but we're going to get back to customizing again. This is a, a figure from Flashpoint. I've never gotten a figure from Flashpoint, but I ordered it from 1-6 Outfitters where I got Lara Croft and uh, Clive Rossfield. And they were so good about taking uh, Clive Rossfield back. You know, I decided to get uh, two figures. So, so this is the first for me for Flashpoint. We'll see what we have. The one thing I did notice they have tape on the box, but it's like the tape has come off. It's half on. <laughs> this is the box that came in. But bless, uh, bless the hearts of uh, One Six Outfitters. They put both boxes of Laura Croft and this figure into a bigger box with bubble wrap. So that was that was good. That tape comes off really nicely too. So um, yeah, it doesn't really uh, pay to try to customize something that's not out of stock. Where it really starts to pay is when it goes out of stock and you're only left with eBay or some other auction place to try to get a hold of an item. It's gonna be hard to get it at a good price. So Let's see if we can get this open. Nothing special about the box, except it looks like it's hard to open. There you go. All right. You guys always, okay. Oh, it's like a shoe box. That part is, for me, always good. All right. So it is Spider-Man. I only have one Spider-Man and it is a Kotobukiya Spider-Man and it's um, it's larger than one six scale. It's not quite one fifth scale, but it is larger. And so I debated about whether or not to get rid of that figure. And then I had an Iron Man that came in slightly larger than one six as well. So they kind of are compatible but this is like a shoe box. Now, there's nothing to write home about the head sculpt, but I have a solution which I'll show you in, probably in the next episode. This comes off nicely, good. And it's foam, double good. <laughs> okay. So, all right, so it comes with um, the mask. And, Here he is. Let's see what he looks like. So it kind of looks like Toby Maguire. It's not perfect, but he looks pretty good. Actually, when I looked at his face, though. It doesn't quite look like the picture I saw of it. The face seems wider than it should be. So I'm glad I have an alternate plan for this guy. Okay, so we'll pause and let me take everything out and see what we have and then uh, try to strike a pose. So like I said, this is my first item from Flashpoint. And they did provide a stand, but I wish they had not because they put Flashpoint instead of Spider-Man on the stand. That that just does not look right, does it to you guys? I don't think so. Oh my gosh. Anyway, and if I could have saved uh, $10 for not having a stand, that would have been perfect. It does come with two head sculpts. That's kind of nice. But the the face, it's it. I knew it wasn't a dead ringer for Toby McGuire, but it looked much thinner in the photographs. But this face seems a little too wide across. No matter which one you're looking at, so and and one can be 
more of the civilian side because it comes with glasses here and it comes with it comes with a lot of things it comes with a spidey shirt pants that's supposed to go with it let me drop something did i get it so it's uh blue pants with a red stripe on it to match the red shirt he has um he has nike shoes i'm sure he didn't get the license for it <clears throat> but uh you can see him here nike red and white which matches the red and white hands here so i'm sure this is the civilian counterpart so that goes with the red shoes the red and white gloved hands go with red and white shoes as does the red shirt as does the blue and red striped pants, as does the gray hoodie, as does the gray backpack that says Jan Sport on it. No license there, I'm sure, either. And he does come with glasses, like I said, for the civilian side, a book, of uh, a notebook with drawings in it, a Spider-Man and all that stuff. It's only a couple pages with drawings on it. The rest is blank. And he does come with a red mask. I'm sure just the red mask goes with the red civilian shirt and then the mask mask that can be carried in the hand of Spider-Man while he's wearing his regular normal head. All right, so yes. So three sets of hands, two gloveless, one that is a glove civilian like, and then he only comes with one set of spidey hands. That part's disappointing. I think they could have maybe used one set of plain hands and a gloved set of hands, and then maybe additional, at least one set another set of spidey hands would have been nice so i'm not like i'm overjoyed with this particular item i think that was it from the box but it does give me toby mcguire and if you have a hot toys head you know i don't care about these two <laughs> as long as i can get that on him so I guess what we should do, though, is uh, get him on a turn tray and um, see him from different angles. The material isn't of super quality. This is kind of uh, sponge-like or kind of like rubberized. This is rubberized, but you could tell it's lightweight material. At least it's form-fitting, but not so tight that I don't think you can have problems bending him no he's he's going to be very bendable so that part is good but yeah flashpoint i guess that's um that that's the marketing part <laughs> i would have put spider-man on there <laughs> if that i will probably put spider-man on there or use a different stand so Anyway, we'll pause now and get him on a turn tray so you can see him from different angles. So there are a few pros with this uh, figure. The, uh, the figure is poseable. The material is not so thick, not so tight that you can't pose him. So he is poseable, that's, that's a positive. Uh, he comes with a stand, that's a positive, unless I save money, then it's a negative. <laughs> But it has Flashpoint on it instead of Spider-Man. That's negative. The face is too broad. Now, I take the more serene face off the figure, put the more serious one on. It looks more like Tobey Maguire, especially if you kind of turn him to the side. But it's still 
much too wide compared to the photos I saw of him, and certainly much too wide in terms of seeing him face to face. But I do have a hot toys, Toby McGuire, so all is not lost. And uh, all right, so let's just go around and see him from different angles. He definitely is poseable. That part I like. And the top of the stand is is subdued. It's mostly black, but you can see uh, some red and some white with the spider web there. I think that is cool. But if I do display him with this stand, I'm going to have to put Spider-Man on there. There's no way around it. So, okay. Why don't we pause and get some tighter close-ups of him. And you be the judge in terms of whether you think this is a, a good look for Toby McGuire. You know, personally, I think they should have just went with Spider-Man's mask face. <laughs> This won't fit over his head. It's, it doesn't stretch wide enough. I mean, you can kind of tell it's Tobey Maguire, but it it misses the mark. And because it misses the mark, you kind of wonder why did they bother at all? You know, it it's baffling. But let's go around and see him closer up. He is in that vibrant blue and red and, and the web on him, the black spider on the front, that's all good. But that face is way, way too white. All right, so we'll pause and get a real close tight close up, real close tight close up, a real tight close up of his face. We'll be right back. So here's a close-up of the more serious Tobey Maguire. And here is the more serene head sculpt with glasses on. Yeah. So we'll just kind of go side to side here. I think when you angle him away from the camera, he looks better. <laughs> It may not appear that his face is wide now, but oh my gosh, when you're staring at it directly, you can tell it is too wide. So we'll uh, pause now and let me get the Hot Toys hat on. Maybe you can see the striking difference. That looks so much better. That's the Hot Toys hat. And that that's a great representation of Tobey Maguire. If I put this head back into view, you can you can tell it's night and day. So let's just uh, go side to side here slightly. There we go. Yeah, definitely like the hot toys look much better. So here's the Flashpoint Spider-Man with the Hot Toys hat on. It definitely is better than the Flashpoint Tobey Maguire hat. So the Hot Toys hat is going to stay on this figure. So hopefully this has helped you decide whether or not to purchase the Flashpoint figure. I wouldn't have purchased it except for the price, knowing I had a Tobey Maguire head to replace this head with. But I actually literally thought this head was going to look better than, than it ended up looking. It's too wide in the face. <laughs> I should be saying this one is too wide in the face. So I hope you've liked what you've seen. If you have, consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. In the meantime, everyone, please. Have a great day.